What's up, fam? It's your girl, Keely, and I am back today with a cooking tutorial. I am back. Okay, so today we have some tilapia fillets that I will be... Oops. Sorry about that. We have some tilapia fillets that I will be pan searing. Um, and I am making my famous cream sauce, which consists of... Uh, garlic, jalapenos, onion, heavy cream, um, and I'm adding some spinach. So stay tuned. I'll be right back and we're going to, I'm going to grab my seasonings up and we're going to get in this video. Hey, listen, before I do that, if you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for returning. Come join my squad. All I want to do is love on you. That's all I want to do. Come join my squad. Don't forget to like, comment, share. Make, turn that red button gray. Okay, guys, so I'm back. And we're getting ready to season these bad boys up real good. I have some Slap Your Mama seasoning that I'm going to and we're just going to uh, do both sides and you want to <clears throat> season very generously okay. to the slap your mom I'm always doing something um, I added some blackening seasoning to this as well. Because I'm Keetra. <laughs> and this is my kitchen and I can do that. So I'm going to add some garlic powder. And I like a lot of garlic. onion powder black pepper I love fresh cracked pepper. It does so much for a dish. I just don't like when the, the bottle gets stuck. Okay. It's okay. So, see? Can you see that? Don't those look good already? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Okay, so I'm going to flip these and season the other side, and then we'll get ready to put it in our saute pan. In the meanwhile, I will be turning on my burner to um, heat up my oil in my pan, and we're going to cook some tilapia, y'all. Y'all hear that? Yeah, that's you want to move your... your, your skillet or pan or whatever you're using you want to constantly move it around because um, you don't want your fish to stick but you see how beautiful that's starting to look um, and you only want to cook it you only need to cook it maybe uh, three minutes on each side um, because once once um, I make the sauce I will I will remove this um, and then after I flip it over I remove it from the the, the saute pan and then I will make my sauce. And then once my sauce gets ready, I will add my sauce. I will add the uh, the fillets into the sauce and let them cook for another five to seven minutes. Um, and that way they're cooked all the way through. So while I have uh, put my second batch of fish in, I'm going to go ahead and start cutting my onion and my jalapeno pepper. I 
I'm just only going to use a half of an onion. So, yeah. And I think I'm going to cut it this way. And you just want to angle, angle it first. This is what they look like after being sauteed on both sides. I did three minutes on each side and now I am about to make my sauce. So now for my jalapeno, shout out to Church's Chicken. I did not have a, a fresh jalapeno, but Church's came through. They came through, y'all. Yeah. So I am going to push my onion to the side. I'm going to take off the stem like so, slice it down the middle, and I won't, I, I'm, I'm going to take out most of the rib um, and the seeds. Like so. and flip it over and cut thinly slice and then I'm just going to finally dice rule of thumb when you're using a sharp knife you always want to tuck your fingers like that because you don't <clears throat> you don't want to get cut there and do this one the same this jalapeno is a little bit soft And then I'm going to, I added a, another tablespoon of butter to my, my pan. And since I'm my own cameraman, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take y'all with me. Hey. So I'm gonna put, well, maybe not. Okay. Hang tight. Okay, so see the all that goodness in the bottom of the pan that's from the seasoning and the y'all y'all don't sleep on the, the bits in the bottom of the pan. That's where all your flavor comes from. So we're just going to let these the onions and the um, jalapenos mainly just the onions saute for a little bit. And then I'll add my garlic. See how yummy that is looking. And rule of thumb, you don't want to add your garlic right away because garlic burns really quick. And so once once my onions get soft or translucent is what they is the correct term. And that's just when the onions start to sweat, um, that means they become translucent. And so um, that's what you're seeing now. 
onions are becoming translucent. And I, since I still want um, a little bite on the onion, I'm going to um, just go ahead and add my garlic. If I can get it open. And I'm just going to give it a squeeze, probably about Yeah, that's enough. That's probably less than a teaspoon. But, and with the garlic, you only want to, when it starts to uh, give off an aroma, which takes about 30 seconds, um, then you know it's, it's good and ready. Uh, Y'all see I use this a lot. This is like, it's actually called a fish spatula. So it's used for fish because it, it's got a it's got a, um, a curve in it. Um, if you can see that, but it's like my favorite utensil, and so I always I, I use this before wooden spoon, which is you know can be pretty hard on your your pots and pans because it can scratch the bottom. But. So now I'm going to add my heavy cream and we're going to get this sauce in the making. So I've got my heavy cream. I am just going to pour and I'm just going to eyeball it. I know I need probably about a cup. That's probably a cup. And I'm also going to add... Um, <clears throat> Uh, probably a half a block of cream cheese just to thicken it up but you guys this sauce is is the bomb.com you hear me it is absolutely amazing so I just added my cream cheese <clears throat> I added a half a half a block of cream cheese and I didn't soften it up in the microwave or anything I just dropped it in and I'm just it'll start melting um, as it, it heats up but and I did add a little bit of milk also to the sauce only because it was really thick and it had reduced so much and I added a little milk and I know it's going to thicken back up once once the cream cheese melts, but you guys will see in just a bit. It's it's almost ready. It's almost ready, and it does have a bit of a kick. Um, I was heavy on the slap your mama seasoning, which is a Cajun spice, um, but I also added to that um, the blackening seasoning, so it definitely gave it um, a bite, a good bite. So here we are all done. Tilapia smothered in Keeley's cream garlic jalapeno sauce. Absolutely delicious. Hey, listen, thank you all for watching this video. Um, please leave me a comment, share. If you've not yet subscribed, go do that. Come join my squad. All I want to do is love on you. That's all I want to do. Until next time. Peace and blessings to you all.